In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro delves into the current political landscape, focusing on Vice President Kamala Harris, former President Donald Trump, and the media's role in shaping public perception. The discussion highlights the apparent momentum Harris has gained in polling, particularly regarding economic trust among voters, and critiques the media's portrayal of her as a candidate. The podcast begins by discussing a new poll, indicating that for the first time, voters trust Kamala Harris more than Donald Trump on economic issues. This shift is attributed to the media's effective promotion of Harris, despite her lack of engagement with the public and the press. Shapiro emphasizes that Harris has not answered any questions in the 24 days since she became the Democratic nominee, suggesting that her rise in the polls is largely due to the media's creation of a protective bubble around her. Shapiro critiques Time Magazine's cover story on Harris, which describes her as being reintroduced to the public, despite her long history in politics. The media's portrayal of Harris as a hopeful figure contrasts sharply with their depiction of Trump, who is often characterized negatively. This disparity raises questions about the media's objectivity and its role in shaping narratives that favor certain political figures. The podcast further explores the concept of an echo chamber created by the media, which Shapiro argues is designed to shield Harris from scrutiny. He points out that when Trump proposed a policy to eliminate taxes on tips, the media framed it negatively, while Harris's adoption of the same policy was presented positively. This selective reporting illustrates the media's bias and its impact on public perception. Shapiro argues that the media's relationship with reality is tenuous as they generate a fake reality that many people accept. This manipulation of information is seen as a threat to the democratic process as it prevents voters from making informed decisions. Shapiro contends that the media's efforts to protect Harris are indicative of a broader strategy to maintain their influence and control over the narrative. The discussion shifts to Elon Musk's recent interview with Trump on X, which Shapiro describes as a significant event that threatens the media's monopoly on information. Shapiro notes that Musk's ownership of X has allowed for a more open exchange of ideas, which the media perceives as a threat to their power. The podcast highlights the media's reaction to Musk's interview, with various outlets expressing concern over the potential spread of misinformation. Shapiro critiques the European Union's response to Musk's interview, with officials warning him about compliance with regulations regarding harmful content. This intervention is seen as an attempt to stifle free speech and maintain control over the narrative surrounding political discourse. Shapiro argues that the media and regulatory bodies are working in tandem to suppress alternative viewpoints that challenge the established order. As the conversation progresses, Shapiro addresses the Biden administration's handling of various issues, including immigration and the economy. The podcast highlights Harris's contradictory positions on immigration, noting her previous commitment to closing detention centers and her current stance as a tough-on-crime prosecutor. This inconsistency is framed as a political maneuver to appeal to different voter bases. Shapiro also critiques the administration's economic policies, pointing out the rising inflation and the impact it has on American families. Trump is portrayed as a candidate who can effectively address these issues, while Harris is depicted as out of touch with the realities facing everyday Americans. The podcast suggests that the media's failure to hold Harris accountable for her record is indicative of their bias and complicity in the political narrative. As the podcast concludes, Shapiro reflects on the implications of the current political landscape for the Democratic Party. The discussion suggests that Harris's campaign is built on a fragile foundation, reliant on media support and a carefully curated public image. Shapiro posits that if Harris is forced to confront reality and answer tough questions, her campaign could falter. The podcast ends with a call to action for listeners to remain vigilant and critical of the narratives presented by the media. Shapiro encourages an open exchange of ideas and a commitment to holding political figures accountable for their actions. In a time of heightened political tension, the importance of free speech and honest discourse is underscored as essential to the health of democracy.